Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be playing a two-player only game called The Fisheries of Gloucester. Yes, this game is designed by Steve Finn and published by Dr. Finn's Games. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of two different fishing companies competing over fish to satisfy different preservation cards. Yes, this is a two-player only game in which we are going to be going back and forth, essentially trying to fish and moving our boats along the ocean in efforts to score the most points by the end of the game. The game plays in about 30 minutes, and as per usual, we are going to start with a quick teach of the game, and then we'll go straight into our two-player playthrough and end with our thoughts. So if you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now before I begin, if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. All right, and with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player only game of the Fisheries of Gloucester. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Gloucester. The ocean. Now, like we were mentioning earlier, in this game, we play as different fishing companies. And so each player has three boats that all start along the edge of the shore here. And over the course of the game, we are going to try to sail our boats uh, further and further out uh, into the ocean in order to pick up the various fish and turn them in for preservation cards, which will eventually score us points at the end of the game. But in order to sail our boats, we'll first have to place ocean tiles because we cannot sail along uh, the light blue spaces as it is right now. And eventually we'll also be able to dock our boats along these islands, which will also score us points. Now the game is played over the course of six rounds and each round has four phases, starting by flipping over the topmost uh, chart, star chart card, yeah. I believe it's called. There you go. And basically this card will tell us uh, what type of tiles we take from the supply that round. So you get so, one each and then I'll get one of these L shapes. So do you. Yes, thank you. And this is going to be for the first round. So you may as well just keep the card. Yeah. Then once that's done, each player is going to get a certain amount of time depending on if they're first or second player. We randomly determined ahead of time uh, who's going to be the first player because that determines where you place your boats. And so today Naveen is first player mm -hmm. uh, at the start of the game and yeah. I'm second. The difference is whoever is a first player for that round only gets six time. And that's important because every time you take an action, you'll basically have to spend time for it. And the person going second gets to add second seven time. That's also important because sometimes you might end a round with leftover time. And so you're just adding on six or seven time to that to a maximum of 12. Then you move on to the third phase, which is the actions phase. So then starting with the first player, we're going to alternate taking one action each until you have decided that you are done for the round. Now there are four different types of actions in the game. The first one is very simple, does not cost any time, and this is charting a course on the ocean. Mm -hmm. Because like I was mentioning earlier, we cannot move our boats across these light blue spaces of the board. We have to place ocean tiles in order to move. Now when taking this action, you can only place one of your available tiles in your supply. Uh, like I said, it does not cost any time, but there are rules to placement. When you place uh, an ocean tile, it has to be orthogonally adjacent to a boat that is on the board. It does not have to be your boat, but it has to be a boat. Mm -hmm. So something like this would be legal, but you could not uh, put the ocean tile over a, a fish or over rough waters or on an island space or on the actual shore. Sure. And when taking this action, you're only placing out one of your tiles. The next type of action is sailing. So this is one of the main parts of the game. When you take this action, you're choosing one of your boats and you're sailing as far as you can slash as you'd like to, mm -hmm. and then you spend time depending on how far you went. So you can only move orthogonally, and for each orthogonal space that you move, it's going to be one time each. So if I just move forward on that ocean tile like that, then that would be two time. Mm -hmm. In this game, you can move across your opponent's uh, ships. So if it looked like that, I could move uh, past Naveen's ship, but you could not stay on a space that has a boat. Mm -hmm. um, but each time you enter a space with a ship, that is two time. So if I were to have moved like this, that's two plus one, three time total. Moving on to rough water spaces also costs two time, but the difference is you can stop in a space like that. Eventually, we'll be able to move on these island spaces, and if you ever move a boat onto these spaces, it basically takes your boat out of the game for the rest of the game, because you can no longer move a boat that has been docked on an island. But at the end of the game, all of these helm symbols are points, so you'll be scoring the number of helm symbols on that island at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And the last thing, which is actually quite important, is your boats cannot move further away than your furthest behind boat. 
So uh, we actually have this uh, this marker at the bottom here to mark how far our furthest behind boat is. Mm -hmm. So with that rule, I basically could not move my boat past this column over here. And so we are going to be moving this uh, throughout the game to sort of keep track of, of what that distance looks like. Sure. But just so you know, you can move your boats backwards. So that is the one exception to that rule. If, say for example, uh, my boat somehow is on an ocean tile over here, and one of my boats were to move backwards, then that is the, the only way in which um, they can be more than three columns apart. And that is the basics of sailing. Uh, again, we are going to be doing this throughout the game, so you'll see us do that numerous times. Sure. Yeah. The third action is fishing. So again, one of the main points of the game, uh, if you happen to be adjacent to a fish, let's all pretend that these are ocean tiles underneath us, then you can collect each orthogonally adjacent fish for one time each. Now, one action allows you to collect as many fish as you can slash are able to, but you have to just pay the time and you can fish from several boats. It does not have to be just from one boat. When you collect fish, they're going to go on your player board because they will be very important for the last type of action, which is preserving fish, which you can only do once per day, which is basically once per round. Yep, six rounds. Six rounds. And this allows you to basically turn in fish for one of the topmost uh, preservation cards here. They are in six different stacks, and they're basically stacked according to what their requirements are. So for example, uh, this stack over here wants you to have two different colored fish, and all of the cards in this stack are going to have that requirement. And a majority of them only have two cards, <laughs> by the way, per stack. Mm -hmm. You can only take one of these cards per day. So if I wanted to take this card, I could discard the black and the gray fish to take it. At the end of the game, it'll score me two points. And some of them, not all of them, but some, some of them come with an action that you can take right away. You cannot save it for later though. You have to decide in that moment whether or not you want to do it. And it's going to be stuff like moving one boat a certain number of spaces. Or sometimes you'll be able to move a boat and place a specific tile from the supply, which is nice. Some cards will give you additional time, so we will talk about those as we claim them. And that's essentially it. Those are all of the four types of actions that we're going to be taking over and over again over the course of six rounds. Now, one last thing is the lobster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Each of us has a lobster that we can spend once during the game to basically take uh, an action again. Right. You basically take two turns back to back, with the exception of preserving fish. You can still only do this action once per round. So then, at the start of your turn, if you've decided that you are done for the round, you don't want to take any more actions, then you can choose to end your day. But again, that is at the start of your turn. And the first person to do that will take the initiative card, and you basically get to decide if you want to go first or second in the next round. And again, the difference is going to be how much uh, time you get. And again, you can bank time from round to round. That's right. And once somebody has decided they're done, then obviously the other player can continue taking actions until they're completely done. Once the round ends, each player can only hold one of their ocean tiles uh, over for the next round. And then you basically begin again. At the end of six rounds, the game will end and you go into end game scoring and all of the end game points are basically the amount of uh, helm points that you have on your preservation cards, as well as those helm symbols on islands that your boats have docked on. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins. Now it is important to keep in mind that fish at the end of the game are not worth any points, but they are the tiebreaker. So that's about it. Are you ready to get started? Sure, let's do it. All right, so if you missed the teach, we already discussed that we randomly decided that Naveen is going to be going first. We've already done the first phase of the first round, so we are now ready to get into it. Let's go. Oh, and Naveen's already ahead of me. You already um, took your time, right? Six time, yep. Okay, so we are now in phase two. Uh, for anybody just joining us now, this was the first star chart <laughs> card. Uh -huh. So that is why we have so many ocean tiles in our supply already. Yep. And because I'm going second, I get seven time. All right, so here we go. Day one action, starting with you, Naveen. Day one action. Okay, so I'm going to be playing as the green ship, so the green player. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take an action that is going to be charting the seas, ah. charting the ocean. We're just going to go ahead and just put this out. Charting right a course. There. Charting a course. All right. That's me. So again, that did not cost any time, and it is legal because it's orthogonally adjacent to a ship. It does not have to be yours. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, since I am starting with seven time, I'm going to do something a little sneaky. A little nasty, perhaps. Nasty. Um, one thing I didn't mention during the teach is you can move horizontally, I guess, across mm -hmm. the shore. Uh, and you don't have to place an ocean tile to do that. So I'm going to move across Naveen's ship. So wow. that's one, two, three, 
four. Okay. Because again, moving across a ship costs two. So it's a total of four times. Whoa. So I go down to three. That's a lot of time. Yeah, no time to pick up fish. <laughs> no time to waste. But it is early. Okay. So back to you. Very good. Well, then if you're going to do that, I will go ahead and just place this tile here. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to place this tile here. So I'm also charting a course next to my ship. Back to you. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is going to spend three time. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to go from six down to three. Okay. So then I'm going to move my ship forward. One, two, two spaces. This is the early round where we're mm -hmm. basically just moving our ships yeah. along, trying to get to the fish. Remember, you can only hang on to one of these uh, going into the next round. Yes, so that's true. Plan accordingly. Okay, I'm just going to plop this one down right here. That's going to cost me no time. Okay. Uh, I think I only have one time left, so I'm just going to place this here, right there. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm destroying the ocean already. Mm. All right. That is my whole action, so it goes back to you. Okay. I'm going to spend three pieces. one time by moving this forward. Okay. And that is a maximum now. It's the max. So that you can now, move. because you have to maintain your fleet, everyone has to be within a certain range of each other. Yes. So that's where that's going to stay. It's teamwork. We're looking out for each other, right? Mm -hmm. So I only have one time left. Uh, so then I'm just going to move forward one space just to get my my piece moving here. Yeah. So that's one time. And now, because my furthest back ship is over here, I'm going to move my tile to reflect that. So now my ship can move all the way up to this column if I so choose. All right, back to you. All right, I'm going to nab this fish. So I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to catch it. Yeah. And it's going to cost me one time. Okay, so then it goes back to me. I'm going to place this out because I don't know if I care too much about losing one one tile, uh, ocean tile. And I'm going to go like that. Mm. It is adjacent to my ship right there. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to you. Well, I think I got to move. I got to get my people moving. So we are going to spend one time to just bring this ship forward one space. Okay, so then it is back to me and I'm going to end my day. Okay. Now, again, that has to be done at the start of your turn. And uh, you can now choose if you want to go first or second. So do I care too much about right now we're in that early phase where we're trying to get as many fish as possible. So I think I will go first and mm. I'll sacrifice that that extra That's time. time. Yeah. OK. So I'm out for the round. Naveen can take as many actions as you'd like, although you don't have much time. Uh, well, but. I'm going to charge, of course. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go ahead and plop this down here. Nice. Well, it's the same it's difference, the same right? If I just go this way. Yeah. And you can hold that. I'll hold it for the next round. Yeah, so. I'll hold it. Okay. So with that knowledge, I am actually not going to spend this right now, so I will just call it there. Okay. So that is it. That is the end of the round. So then I have to discard one of these back to the supply because, again, you can only hold one for the next round. One tile. I have the initiative card, and that is really all there is between rounds. So we're now going to go into the second day. Okay. So let's go ahead and flip over that card. All right. New th oh, we get the exact same thing that we had earlier. So okay. we're going to get uh, one of these each and then also an L shape. Nice. Three piece. Thank you. And there are only six of these cards in the deck. Yeah. So it is a way for you to sort of track kind what, of know. Yeah. What, what day you're in. Okay. I'm going first. So I get six time and you get seven. Seven. So this now actually goes into the supply technically. Okay. So starting with me, actions. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and start by placing out my big L shaped tile. I'm going to okay. place it here. And before Naveen does anything sneaky, I'm going to spend my lobster. Mm. So early, so soon. Off goes the lobster. You're taking two actions. I'm going to toss the lobster back into the ocean to okay. take another action back to back. And I'm just going to move this ship uh, one, two. Spend two time. Spending two time. Okay, so you so claim those fish. Down the floor. I have claimed these fish. Uh, Thank you for noticing. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Well, the funny thing is I What's could funny? not take that action because my arrow is here. I know, but you could so have blocked. blocked me. I could have blocked and you. And like made yeah. it more expensive for me to move past you. All right. I am going to get off the off the board here. So we're going to move one, two. It's going to cost me two time. Mm -hmm. And then now this can kind of chart forward. Like oh, I that. guess you could have done that. If you move that, spent your lobster, and then you could have yeah. moved again. It's, right? uh, I, the lobster I'd rather do a little bit later, I guess, but I don't know. Oh, you're making me regret this. I'm going to put the lobster <laughs> sure, there. no problem. Okay, so back to me. Yep. I'm going to move my boat, actually. I'm going to go one, two, four, two time. Two time. Now it goes back to you. Ah, dang. Okay, I feel like I'm behind. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring up the rear a little bit. We're going to go one, two, mm -hmm. another two time. Okay, now I only have two time left. So I basically have to decide, do I want 
this card, which is two different fish, or this card, which is two of the same type of fish, the difference is going to be this will let me move my boat uh, up to two, up to two yeah. spaces. And you cannot spend time to increase that. So it really is only going to be two spaces, whereas this lets me place a tile, this specific tile, and move my boat one space. Mm -hmm. But where um, can you legally place that? Yeah, that's the thing. You don't have to do both, and you can do them in either order. I'm going to spend two time and uh, take two fish. I think I'm going to take this one Nice. and this one. Mm. So you can take them from different boats. They just have to be adjacent. Didn't like that. Okay. Didn't like that at all. All right. <laughs> so you have no you. time? I have no time, but you don't need time You're to timeless. preserve fish. I'm timeless. It's timeless. Oh, okay. I'm going to spend two time, one, two, to go ahead and just bring up the fleet. And then now we can say we're, oh, we have moved. That's so nice. Yeah, so now I have some flexibility to go pick up fishies. Yeah, there we that's go. great. All right. All right, well, I'm going to place this this little teeny, teeny... Uh, it's not one. adjacent to a boat. What? Oh, it's not adjacent to a yeah, boat. Yeah, it needs to be next to a boat. Oh, my gosh, Naveen. Yep. Thank you for catching that. I know. I swear. I think I've literally the only before. the only legal place is here or here. No. Here. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. No. I think I'm just well, gonna. You, you could huh? put it out here. I could, yeah. but I think I'm just gonna preserve my fish. Interesting. Now, why? Well, why? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you you Don't could put do it in front of me. your orange boat or this yellow but boat. But I can't there. move there. No, you can't move. That there. would be doing it for you. <laughs> Sneaky. This is how Naveen. I'm just saying gets the legal, like what's legally available. To take to turns you. that'll help him. <laughs> Thank you yeah, for pointing that out. I understand. Okay, I'm okay. going to discard these two. They're different colored fish. So I'm just going to create a fish pile over here. Sure. Because they are two of different colors, I get this card. So it's going to be worth two points at the end of the game. And now I can move a ship up to. Two spaces. Okay. I think you, can, you only have this one to legally move. Yeah. Right? Unless you want to like, no, you can't even move backwards. Trying to debate if I should move up or just move forward one space. I think I will just move forward one space. It's the same horizontal distance. Mm. Um, and I wouldn't want to be behind rough waters. Mm -hmm. So now this is going to move right like that. Okay. Okay. Back to you. So you have no more time. I have no more time. You only have one time. So you could also just choose to end your day I or could. you could continue going. All right, I'm going to place one of these single ones out. Oh, just you're still going. like that. Yeah, I still have some time. Okay. I think I will do the same. I will place... Oh, do I want to do that? Ah. The tricky thing is if I put this here, I don't know what Naveen's going to do. He's going to do something wacky. Mm. You know what I mean? Could be. He's going to steal my thunder. I am just going to end my day. That's it, huh? I think so. Why? Okay, uh, that, 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 I don't have much. I don't have any time. Sure. I'm going to end my day. So I take this. This moves over here okay. because you can only do one per day. And I have to decide, do I want to go first or second? Second. I'll go first. You'll go first? Yeah. That might be a problem. You'll we'll see. First. Uh, okay. That changes things a little bit for me. All right. So if you're going to do that, then I'm going to just move up one space. Yeah. Smart. Cost me the time like that. Okay. Okay. Well, you can keep going. Yeah, so one of these is going to get lost if I don't keep going. Yeah. Uh, the L shape, I don't think I can legally place the L shape, but I kind of like it for some flexibility <laughs> later. So you just hold on to that one? Yeah. I'm just going to drop this one off here just like that. There we go. Okay, that's not going to cost any time, and then I will call it a day for me. All right, you're done? That's it. Okay, so I discard this. Okay. We are just now going to move into the third day. Third so let's day. let's flip over our chart. Okay, two little ones. Two little ones. So you these get are actually back. nice. Yeah, they fill in the bad. little gaps. There you go. All right, so I get six time. I get seven. I get seven. Okay, we begin again. So I guess I'll just start by placing this here. Okay. Boom. Very nice. All right. All right, I will take advantage of that, I guess, and instead I will move forward one. Okay. Go back one. So I'm leaving that fish behind. You are. For me. I so am, now yeah. I can move this forward. I, this was really hurting my feelings yeah, I <laughs> because I know two spaces because it's the one that's lagging behind, and it was just so far. So I just gave you that one extra yeah. fish as some consolation to get me moving. All right, I get it. Uh, well, I think I should pluck these fish. So let's just go one, two. Okay. These two come off onto my board. It's going to cost me two times. So now I'm down to four. All right. Well, I'm just going to pluck all three of my fish. So I have one, two, and three. Yeah, that's good. That's three okay. time. So it goes down to one. 
It's going to be a quick, quick round. Mm. Okay, I'd like to get out in front of you, knowing that you only have one time. I'm going to go ahead and plop this one right there. So it is adjacent to a different boat, but it is adjacent to a Whoa. boat. So there we go. Destroying the ocean, knowing that I only have one time. Yeah, you only have one time. No, I do. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> well, you have true. have four. Yeah. One, two. Oh, you're going to just sneak in there. I guess I'll turn these in. So two of the same fish. I'm, I'm preserving my fish. Mm -hmm. Two of the same fish for this card. So this will allow me to place out one of these okay. and move my boat forward one space. So I guess I'll place this here. Yeah, I think that's the only legal spot, right? Yeah. Well, I could place it like here. It oh, just yeah, has to true. be yeah. adjacent to your boat, but I'll do that. And I can move my boat one space. I will move this boat here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back to you. One, two, three, four, huh? Mm -hmm. It's all my time. All your time. But if I don't do it, then you get to spend one time and go there. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> I, am for I have to get it. I, I've been behind you this whole time and just like catching your drift. So all catching four times. drift. One, two, three, four. Now I've leapfrogged you. Perfect. Maybe I, perfect. Perfect. Why is that perfect? Oh, so you can do that one. Right. Yeah. I had to try uh, to bait you. Well, is, this is tactical. It, it is it's, tactical. It feels. Yeah. The more you play it, I think, the more uh, tactical So it gets. what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably turn in a couple of fish. Two, the two of the same? This will give you two time, two time right now. Yeah. And then you can pick up those two fish. Mm -hmm. You couldn't preserve again, but at least you'll have them. And this is you'll be the only one who has a brown fish. Well, I can turn in two different ones. That's the thing. You, and that gets me put on an L shape. And move one space. Yeah, I guess this is the only spot where you could put out the L shape. Yeah. But I don't know if I want to set it up like that. Put, yeah. put it out there <laughs> give, for you, then you're going to be the one. Give me access. To those fish. Okay, I'll do two two uh, different fish, or two of the same. Two of the same. It's gonna be worth three points at the end of the game because yes, three helms. That's true, and you get two time. I get immediately, two time immediately. And that stack is depleted, so now so, the same color is gonna be. There we go. Not now. I don't get to use the time right away, but on the next turn I will be able to. Yeah. All right, back to me. I'm gonna just move forward one space and claim that spot now while I can. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that goes back to you. Do you have no more time left? I have no more time. Okay, I think, unfortunately, this is a problem, and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to pass right now. You're going to pass? I'm going to pass, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take first player. Do you want to be first uh, or I'll, second? I'll be first. Okay. Yeah, so I'll take first. Okay, well, I could keep going, but I really have no time, and I only have one of these left, so okay. I'm going to end my day as well. Okay. All right, that is the end of the round. So let's go ahead and move our... Uh, scoring cards. Our scoring cards yeah. to our our pile, mm -hmm. and then you must discard one of those. One goes out. Yes. yes. There it is. We have a new one. Yes. Going into Just this like one. that. We are in day four. We get another tiny one back. Uh huh. One, one, and Thank then a you. long stick. Long stick. There you go. All right. So we're going to go straight into actions. So I gain six. So this you. is that moment where I oh, banked. Yes. <laughs> uh, so now I get up to eight total because yes. I banked. Because you banked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and put this back. Yep. And then now you may begin. All right. I'm going to go ahead and collect those two fish. Let's go ahead and grab both of these for two time. One, Round two. and blue. Round and blue. Okay. Ah. I guess I might as well collect these now. Yeah. There's really no point in waiting. So that's three. Three time. Three fish to down to four. All right, back to you. Hmm. You know, I'm just going to plop this token here. Just oh, okay. Just like that. Okay, back to you. Ah. <sighs> All right, I'm going to place this here. So, charting a course. Very good. Back to you. Ooh, boy, that changed things for me. But remember, you can only go as far as here. Unless I use this ship to go forward, then this will all shift at the same time. Right. <laughs> I didn't wow, think about that. That changed. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this will all shift forward like that. Ha. Huh. Okay, perfect. So six will go down to one. That's scary. That might have been a boo-boo. Yeah. All right. Well, seeing as you only have one time left, mm -hmm. I'm going to place this mm -hmm. here. Nice. <laughs> all right. That's pretty good. <laughs> Back to you. Okay, well, I'm I, not happy about that. Yeah, I'm gonna turn in this brown fish for that uh, for two time preservation card. Yep, exactly. Okay, there so you I'm go. Get this. This is gonna be my one that I can claim for this round. Yes. And so I'm gonna gain two time. So we go to three. It's interesting because they give you time, so it gives you more action yeah. potential, but it's only worth one point. Mm -hmm. But you only need to turn in one fish, but it's your one card for the day. So it's a, I don't know, it's a weird trade-off. But the one fish could be worth five points if you can hoard it all for the you know four different fish. Right. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Mm. So 
That's down to one. That's a good spot. Back to you. It's a good spot. Well, with my three time, I think I'm just going to collect one, two, three fish. So let's go ahead and get them while I can. And that is me time. It's a shame that the white one came out, or the gray one. Oh, I know. Because there's one of each color. I know. And that's like the one that's the most rare right now. Yeah. Well, I only have one time left. Mm. So, (laughs) I mean, I guess I could take this three different... But oh, you'd have to pluck a fish and then take it. Yeah, I would have to pluck a fish. Which is the brown. Huh? Which I is the brown, know. yeah. I know. I'll just take this one. The forward one, yeah. Yeah, so I can at least move forward. So that's well, one time. I have no time. Uh, I've already taken one of these preservation cards. You I could lay out one. those. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I did not uh, change this. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's supposed to be like that. Oh, this is tough. Like one player sets up the the route for the next player. And I know. It's like, I made such a big mistake. But right then, like there. now, it's like by putting this out, it's like I want to put it out because I need to get moving. Don't forget your lobster. Maybe putting it there is the wrong idea. Yeah. No, I, I I know I have that lobster. I, yeah. I should have probably used it a, about a round or two ago, but I have no time. I'll go ahead and uh, put this little token right there. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. All right. Well, back to me. Claiming. And I'm going to claim. So this is three of different colored fish. I happen to have one, two, three. Okay. It would have been nice to go for this, but this was the only gray left, and it's going to be too hard to claim it. Mm-hmm. So I'll just take this card. Very good. It lets me put out one of these from the supply and move one space forward. So I might as well just go, oh, am I going to abandon that? I'll go there, and I guess I'll just move up forward here. Yeah, totally. I don't want to have to abandon that, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so that is me, goes back to you. Yeah, so I have no time. Uh, I don't think I want to put this one out right now because I don't know what's coming later. So I'm going to take that and I will go first. You'll go first. I will go first. All right, I'm going to be, I'm going to go out of the round as well. So this gets moved. Yep, this one comes on over. We keep these. We're just going to go straight into round five. Let's go. And two singles. Two singles. Is that what I, is that good? (laughs) I mean, it's getting tight. It's getting tight. We're getting to the end here. Can't really, yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, you get six time. six time, I get seven time. And then please, Naveen, what is it that you would like to do? Well, I think I'm going to just spend one action, one time, just to move forward like that. Real simple. Okay. Well, knowing that, I guess I'll just put this uh, here. Here. <laughs> what am I doing? Mm. Here. All right. Back to you. It's tough. It's so tough. The time mechanic as well as this. These are the two that make the game. This is the ship that is holding me back from getting to an island at the end, you know? Yeah. So if I was to do that, but that's the entire round. Yeah. No, I won't do it. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's just place this one here. There you go. Just like that. Pave your own way. My own way. Naveen, your own way. All right. I'm just going to go one, two. You're like, but I'll I'll do it. (laughs) Well, I put it there for myself. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to you. Okay. I think I I am going to just pick up this black fish that's up here. Okay, for, for one. one time, yep. That's it. So now I have one of every color. Okay, well, before you take this, because mm-hmm. you do have that lobster, I'm going to take these three. So that three is times. down to two. Back to you. Two, okay. Uh, let's just uh, satisfy, well, I guess I, there's no rush for me to satisfy the contract, right? Because you're not in any position to do it. Which contract? The have one of every uh, different no, type of fish. No, no, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do that. But right I would now. like to see what you're going to do first. So okay. I, I will actually satisfy this contract. So I'm going to turn in <laughs> one of every different type of fish. Okay. And it's going to be worth points. five points at the end of the game. Yeah, that's nice. Which is good. That's really take, nice. Oh, so this is going to actually Ooh, go here. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, it's still the same. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's the same, same stack. Same okay. stack. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now I have four time to your two time. Yes. I am going to do this now. Okay. So I'm turning in these three of different types okay. to take this last card here that gives me an additional time. Mm. That time threat is scary, I right? <laughs> when it you is. see your opponent get an additional time. Yeah, it's like, what are you going to do with that? You know they have some power. All right, so. I'm going to have to put out this one little single token. I'm just going to place it right here. Ooh, too bad neither of us can get to it. I, I can get to it. No, you can't. Well, yeah, I have, I have four time. Yeah, but you don't have oh, yeah, space. Oh, yeah, yet, yet. Yet. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and place this here. Mm. Just like that. Back to you. Are we playing a little chicken right now? <laughs> it seems like I it. We're playing a little I chicken mean, right I think now. That's, I think that is how you... You know what? I'm, I'm going to move forward one space. Whoa. Now we got this all the way up. I, I have full range now. I just thought you might have wanted... Okay, well, I'm going to go one, two. Mm-hmm. Okay, back okay. to you. All right, now that you did that... 
I can just plop this one here. Okay, I'll take the fish mm -hmm. for my last time. Okay, so you have no more time? I have no more time. Okay, so I'll move forward for one time. Okay, I will end my day. Okay. So I'll take this and I'll go first. Okay. And then in the last round. All right, so then with my last two time, I'm gonna secure it while I can. I'm gonna go one, two onto that island. So that's gonna be worth three helm at the end. Yes. Go. Okay. I'm out, so it's just yeah. you until. Oh, I have this lobster, uh, <laughs> but I have nothing else going for me. Yeah, don't no use time. lobster. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'll call it there. So I'm gonna be going uh, second. All right, yep. that is the end. Okay. I only have one of these left over. So let's just move on to the final round, yep. I guess. How are you feeling going into the last bit? Okay, I, I liked picking up the five points. Yeah. Plus to three on the island. There's that felt so pretty good. There's so few points. So it really is uh, uncertain yeah. what's gonna happen here. Okay. Exactly, okay. Final. Final one. Final so this card? Is gonna go, okay, so long stick and a tiny one. There long we go. Long stick, one. tiny one. There we go. All right, All right, so let's move this. This moves over. I get six time, get and you seven. get seven. I have too much time, maybe. So now it goes Who knows? too much time. Maybe. I don't know about that. Okay. Well, first of all, I think this was, uh, I didn't. That's due. I didn't set that properly. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. The only preservation cards left are the gray, which is there. It's really hard to get to. Four of different types. Oh, my goodness. Am I going to try to get there? I think I will start by doing this mm, little hockey stick a little hockey stick all right back to you wow that changed a little bit for me okay so with that the, then being there i'm gonna go one two three for three time seven down to four okay Oof. i'm gonna go down one two mm. one two all right back to you well i am very glad i have my lobster right now <laughs> because i'm gonna pick okay. up this blackfish okay here okay uh for one time uh-huh and then um i am going to use my lobster <laughs> okay. to go ahead and satisfy a contract. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the three different fish. Do we not have three different no. fish? No, we don't have that. Hold yeah, on Yeah, that was second. all taken. Wait a second. Never mind. I will not be uh, doing that. So okay. I, I, but I will satisfy a contract right now. So let's go ahead and just turn in. So you're use, using your lobster? I am, uh, no, sorry. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <Oops. laughs> sorry. I got thrown off. Yeah. What, okay. is the, what is going on? I know. Never right. mind. Sorry if I confused anything there. I just picked up a fish. All right. Well, I'm going to pick up a fish. Okay. For one. So now it goes back to you. So there you go. You didn't have to use your lobster anyway. Okay, so now I will go ahead and um, I will I will turn in two different fish mm -hmm. uh, to get this particular one right here. So okay. this is going to be two different fish. I get to uh, put out an L shape from the supply and then I get to move my ship one space. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, do I do this? No. You know what I'm realizing? Yeah. I think you technically could have picked up that fish. Me? Yeah. Because you're here. You can fish from any space, any type of space. Mm, that's okay. okay. That's no, no problem. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll get a free move. And then we are going to use the lobster. Now. Now. Okay. To go ahead and go one, two onto that island. Okay. Go boom, boom like that. There you go. Ah. Well, now you're completely... I'm loaded. You're completely... Uh, you're done, actually. I'm done, You yeah. don't really have... You, you have one time left over, have, but... Yeah. All right. Um, well, I might as well turn these in. Okay. So here's four. Four different. Four different fish. For this, it gets me two time. Goes back to you, technically. Um, I don't think there's anything legally I can do. Okay. Or so you'll do. be done. So I'll be done, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to give this I'll to you. I'll be first player. I think that might be like a second tiebreaker or something I'll, like I'll that. I'll take it. I do have a leftover fish also. <laughs> well, I have five time... I have three boats, none of which are on islands, and Time to get them there. I guess I should just get them in there. So one, two, three, or yeah. Mm -hmm. So it goes down to two, uh, and it's going to go one, and one time with to nothing. Try. I, yeah, yeah to I can't. Try. I can't. Okay. All right. All right. Let's that is it. it up. Six days are done. Let's go into end game scoring, shall sure. we? Okay. Okay. So it's very simple. It's Real just simple. your helms. So I have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. That's a lot. Okay, so I have a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 14 to 11. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. That's okay. my final score. What did I say, 11? Uh -huh. uh, uh, this goes to 14? Yeah. 15, 16, <gasps> 17, 18, 19. Wow. 
Oh, did you it. had a lot of helms on I, islands. Yeah, on the islands, you got to get to the Maybe. islands. I got to all of them. You didn't need that white <laughs> ship in the end. I didn't. Oh, the so fish, yeah. <laughs> you fished in Gloucester. 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 Good Gloucester. job. Thanks. So final scores are? Uh, 19, 19 to, 17. to 17. Again, a uh, tiebreaker is leftover fish. Yeah. So you would have had that. Um, so I would have had that, yeah, technically. But good job. Thanks. Yeah. Wow. That was that was tough. <laughs> that was uh, way more tactical than some of our previous plays. Yes. Um, our first play of it, I think, uh, we were still discovering the game. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And didn't realize how elusive you you can be, or yeah. how clever you can be about you know just inching forward. Right. Eating up a time and be like, okay, let's see what you do. I feel like that's Chart how course. a lot of Doctor Finn's games are. We both really enjoy Dr. Finn's games. Oh, if yeah. you're not familiar with some of the titles, probably the most popular one is Biblios. One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah one of your favorites. We've, mm -hmm. We have covered, I think, Cosmic, Cosmic Run Regeneration mm -hmm. in the past. Uh, and then we've, we've, we've done a few just random ones throughout our Let's Talk Board Games episodes. Yeah. But the thing that's really nice about them is they're all usually small box. They're very quick to play. Uh, there, there's a two-player line, and they're all very clever in one way or another. Yeah. They're simple but clever, and there's like a wide range of themes. Besides Biblios, that one is essentially themeless. <laughs> right? <laughs> Organizing books, yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, so this one, uh, this is uh, fairly unique in the, the way that uh, you're charting the course. And, yeah. And um, you're, you know, you're, you're playing chicken a lot with this particular game like yeah uh, you I, are I, I saw that you were out in front uh -huh. uh, in, the, in, a, in our play and I was like I I have these tiles I don't want to just lay out these tracks so you mm -hmm. can continue to go forward but it's also clever in the, the fact that the fleets have to move together mm -hmm. so you can't just you know go see all the great fish and just take one boat and just dominate so you have to bring up the rear constantly yeah and I feel like that is how a lot of uh, specifically the two player line games are they feel very tactical in the sense that I would love to set myself up for this thing, but if I do this, then I'm going to set you up for it instead, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And a lot of the games are very straightforward. Like this game in particular, especially the first time you play it, you feel like, okay, it's very simple, right? You're basically just, you're, you start the early game by charting the ocean tiles so that you can actually move your boats. And then eventually towards the mid game, you're actually picking up fish and you want to be the first person to pick up these fish. Mm -hmm. But you also have to keep in mind towards the end game that these fish are not worth anything unless you can turn them in for the, the appropriate cards. contract. Yeah. So it becomes very tempting to just try to pick up all the fish. But by the end of the game, you really shouldn't be doing that. You should be landing your boats on, on these the, islands. On the heavy hitting islands. Yeah. yeah. The threes and the twos. Yeah. Right. So it is interesting the the sort of timing of the way that the game flows. Mm -hmm. And like I was mentioning during the playthrough, the game is really made by these two mechanics, the, the fleet mechanic as mm -hmm. well as your time. Yep. Because that is what limits you and that's what makes the game really sort of tough when you it, it turns it into a mind game of sorts right it's a yeah. game of chicken like and you said sometimes like you want to go first mm -hmm. sometimes you can see like the board state it's like oh i'd really like to go first mm -hmm. so i'll bank some time and make sure i can go first and sometimes you're like actually i don't want to go first i could yeah. really use that extra time see what you do on your first action right so that i can then counter it with uh with some sort of tactics or strategy yeah maybe you're going to build out a a, a, a you're going to chart the ocean that's going to allow me now to spend maybe a little bit more time, mm -hmm. but I did get that extra time by going second. So yeah, yeah, I yeah, can yeah, justify yeah, yeah. spending it to get a leg up. Um, clever. Yeah, really yeah. clever game. And yeah. that's the thing that's neat. It's it's a, All the decisions are meaningful for such a small game, mm -hmm. right? So anyway, we just kind of wanted to show you uh, one of the two-player games that Dr. Finn had released recently. Uh, this is Fisheries of Gloucester. So Gloucester, it yeah. does have a very specific theme. You know, not everybody is going to sort of fall in love with like a fishing theme. Yeah. But at least you can kind of see how the mechanics work in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, the side of the board that we played with, that is the standard uh, side. Mm -hmm. There's the If you flip it over, there's other tiles that you can kind of lay out and yeah. randomize the board. So the islands will be in different spots, the rough water as yes. well. And I believe the game also came with uh, some promo cards that we it, did not showcase today. Yes, as well as a, like a card expansion. Mm -hmm. But uh, just on the same note as that variant side of the board, we didn't play with that because you literally choose where all the spaces are, all the rough waters and the islands. Yeah. And I just felt like... We didn't, we didn't <laughs> we want to showcase choose. that because we wouldn't know how to truly balance it properly. Yeah, we didn't So wanna... this was probably play tested the most, balanced the most, yes. and it's like... So we wanted to make sure there was a, a, at least a tactical game that but we didn't make an error setting up. if you're up. feeling wild, yeah. you could choose all these spaces. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. That is Fisheries of Gloucester. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.